Hi everyone, this is Menz here, playing the Tier 4 Japanese battleship, the Mayogi, in World of Warships. If you are curious to find out more about World of Warships, I've got guides, videos, and news on World of Warships on my new website, mensgaming.com slash World of Warships. Now, the Japanese ship, Mayogi, compared to the Tier 3 battleship, the Kawachi, it does see a decrease in armor and also anti-aircraft capabilities pretty much suck in this too. Now however even though it does see the decrease in armor and aircraft or anti-aircraft capabilities it does have a longer range than a Kawachi so you're gonna see. If you hit alt while you're aiming in, you can see your maximum range, and it's just over 15 kilometers. Now, the Kawachi, its maximum range is just about 9.8 kilometers, I believe. And the Mayogi is also a lot faster than the Kawachi, if anyone has played that yet. This thing is basically a destroyer compared to it. I don't want to get close in here. Granted, we have a lot of people heading this way. They have a ton of battleships as far as, far as higher tier battleships than us. I'm going to want to keep my range for now. I'm just going to kind of turn back, at least initially. I don't want to get too far out there and take a ton of damage. Now my turrets aren't facing the right way, but it's much better than getting nailed by tons of ships. Now, you don't take damage running into the side of the map. You just kind of bounce off of it. Which, yeah, unrealistic, but... Not that big of a deal. Alright, so this guy is going to come out right about here. And never mind. A little too low for him. I do want to swap over to AP though. I don't want to use HE. Ooh, crap. Gotta start turning. Don't want to hit him. I think I should be fine, though. That guy looks like he stopped. If not, he might be moving backward. Never want to stop in this game. You're just going to be a sitting target. Yeah, that guy put on his brakes and started moving backwards. Now, if you fire your guns individually, you have a bit better accuracy than firing them all at once. If you fire them all at once, you'll notice your accuracy is very poor. You always want to kind of wiggle in between enemies trying to shoot you. That guy's engines look like they're damaged. Okay, let's see if I can get him out there. I hit him, but unfortunately, I probably should use HD HE in that case. We have these destroyers coming in for our carrier vessel, so I'm gonna start focusing on them. Probably should have started turning a little sooner. And he turned and dodged. So 
I gotta start moving away. They are faster than me, but I don't want to just kind of run right into them. Because torpedoes. Now, I'm going to swap over back to AP. It's going to be my one way to survive this encounter. EP, you still do a ton of damage to destroyers. I kind of messed up there. I should have um, waited to swap the AP because it just reloaded my guns. That was a stupid mistake on my part. Alright, so he's turning pretty damn hard here. And he's just gonna dodge them. Kinda sucks that I'm back here. I'm trying to help out our independence, but there's only so much you can do against destroyers in a battleship. The other guy's been dodging my shots pretty well, too. And as you see, AP one-shots him. Enemy destroyer blown up. So even though I hit the edge of the map, he's at least gone. So let's kind of regroup here and try to get this guy Okay, so let's try that. There we go. Fortunately, I didn't hit him in a critical area. But I'm going to be facing another guy up here, too. I'm actually a little more concerned about him. This little guy just fired some torpedoes at me. But yeah, I'm not going to be able to help out this battleship too, or this carrier too much. I'm going to try to help him out, though. I should have started turning a little sooner here, so I'm going to take a lot of damage. And that's why torpedoes are very deadly. But unfortunately, I can't really spot these guys. There he is again. Destroyers have very good camouflage. Okay, so I'm going to start turning now. He's probably going to fire another set of torpedoes at me. Right about now. Be nice if my secondary guns can kill him, though. Yeah, he just fired some. I 
I would much rather not be able to hit him than get hit by another torpedo. And I'm kind of messed up again. So back to trying to help out our carrier. This is my Ogi still. Hopefully we can get him out. I'm surprised they haven't killed him yet. They must be hitting the wrong spots. Crap, I need to start turning right to get my guns back on him. Eh, yeah, that was a little bad as far as shots go, but it worked. Hey, if it works, then I'll take it. Now, battleships do have a repair capability with T. Just it doesn't do much, but every little bit helps. Always use HE against carriers. If they're on fire, they won't be able to um, send any more ships out until they put the fire out. Plus, you still do a lot of damage because they don't have a lot of armor. Okay, he's starting to turn hard. And he's gone. It was a little iffy there at times, but our team rebounded. it. I definitely made a mistake with that one torpedo salvo that came towards me, and uh, that hurt. But overall, as far as experience goes, second place, our independents did a great job. And for whatever reason, they were not able to destroy him, which I'm very surprised at, because had they used HE, he wouldn't be able to fire planes off. And... They would have been able to take him out very easily, but it, he must have been getting hit by AP. So overall, did a lot of damage with AP. AP shells, use them in most cases for battleships. Sometimes destroyers and definitely carrier vessels use HE, and HE did a little bit of damage. My secondary battery did help out against a destroyer. Glad that they finally kicked in, but for most cases, until you get to the higher tiers, your secondary batteries don't really help much because they don't have very long range and you can't control them. You can hold control just like you can uh, single out targets with your anti-aircraft guns. You can do the same with secondary and click on close ships but there was only one ship close to me so I didn't need to do that. So anyway thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website mensgaming.com slash world of warships. Thanks for watching.